Hello YouTubers, I'm talking about a special video here which I want to talk about um, celebrity weddings. Um, I've been seeing a lot of celebrity weddings lately. Uh, you know, Carmelo Anthony with Lala, just a bunch of celebrities getting married. Um, well, here's my question is, um, who gives a fuck? Like, why is it such a big news that a celebrity is getting married? Like, why do I need to see, like, a whole TV show about it? You know, I guess since I'm on the subject of celebrity marriage, I might as well talk about reality shows and the people that watch reality shows and the people that participate in reality shows. I can't blame those who participate on the reality shows, and I'll tell you why. I don't blame them. It's very simple. Those who participate on reality shows are making money. They're getting paid. That's what they do. I have no problem with that. That's cool. Now... The people that sit there all day long that watch these reality shows, that support these reality stars, okay, I think I'm full of shit. Okay, first of all, what the fuck is a star? What makes a person a star? Who's a star? What what, what defines you as a star? Um, I'm just curious, like, you just get on television, you just do whatever the fuck you do, and people will start watching you and you're a star? Well, I for one don't support reality shows and I don't support celebrity marriages or shit. You're gonna get married, that's your fucking problem. I don't need to see it. I don't need to see all your pictures, I don't need to see the whole life story. I mean, I wonder what the average person thinks. You know, you know, your life sucks, you're getting divorced, you're getting foreclosed on, you don't have a job, you haven't got laid in I don't know, months. Your life just sucks, but you're watching someone else's life and you're living through the other person's life. You are pretty much a loser. You have nothing going for yourself, but you're watching someone else's life. You're watching reality shows. Reality shows is what makes your day. You give a fuck about the situation. You give a shit about what's that? What's that freaking girl? The one? I mean, she looks like Little Kim, the Italian one, the fake Little Kim. Snooky. Snooky. Whatever Snooki. her fucking name is. You know? I mean, I got some reservations about Snooky because I'm pretty sure if it was a black girl that was acting like Snooky. She'd be labeled ghetto. Jersey Shore, a bunch of little white kids running around, acting tough, you know, situation, and basically talk hip hop, act hip hop, but they're getting three million dollar contracts. See, I can't knock them. That's what they do. I have no problem with that. That's cool. In fact, I wish I was making that money doing that. I probably will never make that money doing that. I'm cool with that too. But at the same token, my problem is with people who are pretty much whack, get on TV. And anybody can be a celebrity nowadays. You have a sex tape. You're a celebrity. You have a piece of ass. You're a celebrity. What is celebrity? I thought, you know, celebrity was something to look up to back in the days. You know, you had some celebrities who were actors who actually had some skills. You know, that's, that's what I thought it was. Not just a person who gets on television, rambles and talks nonsense. And then you have a whole fucking nation watching them. The fuck is that? These people have no talent. We're not talking about rappers, we're not talking about singers, we're not talking about actors, we're not talking about athletes, we're not talking about any of that stuff. We're talking about celebrities. People who have no talent whatsoever. Like, there's, there's, I mean, actually, no, sorry, reality show stars, reality show stars, correct myself. These people have no talent whatsoever, and they're on TV, people are watching them, people are in love with them. I mean, they're just, you know, everywhere these people go, they're getting paparazzi. I mean, I'm in South Beach, I could barely fucking drive my car. Snooky's in the fucking town, and the whole fucking world goes down, goes crazy. What the fuck? This girl's at what, 5'1"? A bunch of hair, she's not pretty. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not the best looking guy in the world, I know. I'm gonna see some haters say shit, fuck you. I have no problem with that. Snooky's not pretty. Snooky happens to be the ugliest cast character in that whole show. No homo, but the situation looks better than Snooky. So, what's the deal with the Snooky crap? I mean, this is ridiculous. These people are getting paid just to be on TV, in a house. No fucking talent. She's not pretty, but she's popular. Next thing you know, Snooky's probably going to get her own clothing line, her own record label, her own drink, her own something. Probably her own weave type of fucking line. Who gives a fuck? Snooky sucks. Jersey Shore sucks. Reality show pretty much sucks. So if you're sitting here all day watching reality shows, you don't have a fucking life, too bad for you. You know, maybe you should get a life, maybe you should start making some money. Maybe you should just start doing something. I know, I'm talking a lot of shit, you know, 
people are gonna hate, they're gonna call me all types of names. I have no problem with that. That's cool. That's one reason why I made the video, just to engage in the dialogue. You know, don't be a hater. All I'm trying to say is, um, what makes a person a celebrity? I just wanna know. I, I just want to know. Please explain that to me. What makes you a celebrity? Are you a celebrity because you have some sort of talent? Are you a celebrity because you can sing, can you act, can you play some sort of sport? Are you a politician? Like, what the fuck do you bring to the table besides the fact that you're just acting fake? You're just on television. That makes you a celebrity? I'm supposed to buy your products? I can't turn the fucking channel, not two stations, without having to see some retarded ass reality show. Some stupid idiot saying some dumb shit. Whether it be Real Housewives of Atlanta, First of all, most of them are not housewives of Atlanta, whatever they are from. Um, whether it be some fake chick who had a freaking sex tape and all of a sudden she's popular, I don't know. So somebody tried to explain to me why is it's so important to have these so-called reality show stars. I mean, I know I'm kind of like a nerd because I watch other stuff. That's okay, I understand. I'm just trying to get a little bit more intelligent. I watch a lot of sports. I, I do a lot of that stuff, but why is it so important, once again, to watch reality shows? Why is it all over the fucking TV? You gotta be kidding me. This is the only thing we could freaking produce in this country is reality shows. Um if it's not a reality show, it's the offspring of a reality show. If it's not this, it's something. Or it's a rerun, or it's like a, another show featuring the same people. I don't mind if it's like blind date, if it's like cheaters, those are reality shows. But when I'm watching someone else's life for like a good minute or some fake find me love type of show, that's annoying. That's why I don't watch them. I don't tune in. You know, please find another way to capture me as an audience. This goes out to the TV producers out there. <coughs> Make something that somebody like me will understand and like. Uh, I understand. Believe me, if I'm in TV land, I make reality show. I, you know, I start marketing it. I'll make a whole lot of money. Believe me. I. Personally, I don't like reality shows, but would I participate in one? Yeah, because I make a lot of money. Of course I would. I mean, it's, it's you know, there's some idiot who's probably going to want to watch how I live, who probably wants to watch me, who probably wants to see me act crazy or act a fool on TV. I'll act a fool and laugh my ass to the bake. I have no problem with that. Once again, I'm not attacking those who are on the reality shows or those who are producing the reality shows. I'm attacking those who have nothing else to watch but reality shows. That's my only problem. If you're an idiot, you keep watching reality shows, you only get stupider. That's a, it's a very simple thing. I'm sitting in a freaking bar, I'm talking to a friend of mine, and all this guy could talk to me about is a different reality show. Different channel, different reality show, same fucking gimmick. I'm sick and tired of it, man. You know, I'm really sick and tired of that shit. We need to have some sort of freaking control over what I'm able to watch. So, I mean, I have 200 plus channels on DirecTV, and basically 90% of them are full of bullshit. You know, and you know, MTV is supposed to be about music. MTV is full of reality shows. VH1 is supposed to be about music, full of reality shows. Won't you do a reality show about the musician, the creative process, you know? Do a reality show about the artists. I mean, they have some of those. I have no problem with that. My problem is reality shows about fake rich people who basically have nothing to fucking contribute. That's my goddamn problem. So somebody explain that to me, please. Um, let me know what you think. I will not delete comments. I don't delete comments, and I don't leave, you know I don't delete any comments at all. I actually enjoy this. Uh, you know I'm kind of like a latecomer to this YouTube thing, but you know just let me know. Thank you.